Hi everyone, it's Tracy Learn. And Peter Murray. Hi again, Tracy. Hi Peter. And today we're talking price. Today we're talking price. price, Bitcoin price. Now, first question, Tracy, we're at 777. Mm. Is that is that the heavenly price or what? <laughs> the perfect number three times. Yeah, it is actually. It's looking good. And uh it looks like oh, I'm looking at the graph on the side here. It seems to be trailing off um uh, you know, towards the side, just moving along very nicely. But I have to say that it's been quite it's been quite a good week for Bitcoin. It's been an amazing week, and um, you know the week is just getting better, better and better. And um, we've had such a, a amount of news last week that this week is almost like a like a you know it's almost like a anticlimax in terms of news. I think, well, let's start at the beginning. Did anybody win the prize? Did anybody predict the prize correctly? Let's have a look quickly, Tracy. Did anybody? Um, um, how close no. Were you? No. How close no. were you? Uh, I was actually $18 out this time. Yes, sir. I'm out again with a, with a mile. $27 out. Yes. So I was, 18, I was $6 out last time, uh, um, uh, last week, and then I'm $18 out uh, this week. So now I'm thinking about next week. I think I'm going to still okay. Before we we actually think about next week, let's talk we'll do, about this week we'll and do how that, we do that right at the end. What will yes and I, I think the, yes, the big carry on. the big thing for me is the news. I mean the the the, the big news now is the Italian Prime Minister didn't actually resign, and he was going to resign today. This was the news, and now it says yeah. Should he stay or should he go? So there's a little bit of uncertainty now there in Italy. I'm not, the president has asked the, the prime minister to stay, but he promised to resign. And he's actually said he's going to resign today. So I'm not sure what's happening. So we need to follow this because that is a very, very, um, you know, the whole Italian thing has a big impact on the European Union and, and what's going to happen there. Yes, absolutely. But the market news is interesting. You know, the gold price is getting hammered. Um, because the stock markets, the money's flowing to the stock markets. The U.S. markets are making new highs. They just said yeah, that the European stocks made a fifth, uh, you know, rose for a fifth day. And this is the biggest rally in 10 months. They're calling it the Trump rally. And, um, you know, they're, now they're talking about a Santa Claus rally that's going to carry on into the new year. And I think, that's you know, incredible. some of that cash that we saw lying in those accounts are going to go into the stock market. But, um, you know, I'm not a very big convinced bull at the moment. I would rather put my money into Bitcoin. And I think if we look at, um, you know, what's happening in the Bitcoin market, the gold market is going down. People are going into the dollar. People are going into the stock market. But besides all of this, the Bitcoin price is still staying strong because of all yes. the problems we're having in, uh, um, um, in um, developing countries. Because uh, you, we saw um, the chart earlier of the peso dropping against the dollar and uh, you know we can sh very easily start the year off with another emerging market crisis if these if the dollar keeps on escalating um, and we can have another currency crisis and mm. especially if we get rising interest rates and the fed is definitely looking at rising interest rates the european union will rise interest will, will start um, you know lifting interest rates next year so um, it's going to be very interesting to see um, and then, um, you know, have you watched those premiums again on the Bitcoin prices in India and in Nigeria and places? Yes, I have. And those prices are still uh, racking up. I mean, uh, I had a look at Indian prices yesterday and they were set, so they were about 1,200 odd people were selling for up to that amount. And, you know, very often when you see the lower prices, it means that someone's just really, uh, you know, got that to hook you in so that they get the phone call. And then they say, yeah, I'm terribly sorry. I've actually sold out on that price, but I can give you this. And that's actually, that's, and that's actually how these traders work. Because there's a, there's, there's a lot of money to be made in trading with Bitcoin at the moment in India. And certainly if, if someone does um, buy Bitcoin from outside the country and sends Bitcoin to their family, their family could be making some nice profit uh, on money that they would have received from, from their relatives. Well, besides all of this, there's kind of a few bullish calls on Bitcoin that came out. Um, um, one Nordic bank, Saxo Bank, predicted a Bitcoin price next year of over $2,000. Yes, you know, $2,100. Means, very bullish. Yeah, the Bitcoin price is almost treble from 700 times 3 to 1. Yeah. 
It's amazing. You know, I just have to think about where we were last year this time. I mean, it was the, the Bitcoin price was hovering around. It had just gone through a spike from about, uh, I think it was in about September or so last year. It was sitting at about 200 odd dollars. Um, and then it started to creep up. And around about November, going into December, it started to move to, to the 400s. And, um, and, and actually, we, we, could see, we could see something, something happening like that in now, you know, with, with, this, with this price that we've got at the moment. So maybe this is that $200 odd price that we, we were seeing beforehand. Maybe, maybe it's still going to be moving up. Well, I, I hope so. And, and, and I think, you know, next year is going to be an interesting year. But, okay, let's go to our predictions for, for – okay, now, first thing is we've had 0 0.01 of a Bitcoin, a tenth of a Bitcoin was up for grabs this week. So we've decided nobody's won. So next week it's going to go up to a fifth of a Bitcoin. In other words, 0 0.2 of a Bitcoin. Um, and, um, you know, uh, for anybody that predicts the price correctly. So leave a, a price prediction in the comments below. Tracy and I have been useless at predicting. Tracy much better than I have. But I'm going to stick with my prediction of last week. I'm going to go for 804. What are you choosing, Tracy? Actually, I was going to go for 802, but I think I'm going to stick just under the. Uh, I think I'm going to still go just under the 800 uh, dollar mark. So, I think this time around I'm going to go for about uh, also around about 790. 790. 790. Okay, so I think Tracy it's not uh, because I'm not, you know, at the, end of, uh, at the end of the day, what could happen is the price could shoot past 800, but we've seen that it's, it shoots and then it settles down a bit and shoots up again and settles down. So that's what I think. Okay. <laughs> You've got method in your madness. I'm just pulling a number out of my hat. Yeah. So we'll see what happens. Um, but guys, if you make a prediction, and anybody predicts correctly, you know, a fifth of a Bitcoin at today's value. It's not something to sneeze at. That's almost $150. Yes, that's that's uh, amazing. Thank you, Peter, for that. So, um, yeah, oh, it's a very, very, very interesting week we've had. Very interesting week ahead. Lots of activity, and uh, and let's let that bull out of those out of the gates. Well, also we'll keep a, we'll keep our eye on the news this weekend. If something happens, we're keeping an eye on China and on India with the demonetization. We didn't talk about that again, but, you know, those things are all hovering in the background. And if there's any major moves on the Bitcoin price, you know where to come. Come to our website, um, come to our Facebook page, and come to our YouTube channel. And um, if we don't speak over the weekend, Tracy, we'll speak on Monday. Excellent. We'll do that. Thank you very we'll much. Definitely. We'll catch up on the price next week. Thank you. Cheers.